I will be explaining annuity and different types of annuity. So here is a picture depicting the term. You have to pay premium one time which may be in lump sum or which may be paid periodically and then you will receive the benefits of it in the upcoming years. So what is an annuity? It is an investment or an insurance in which you have to pay regularly a fixed amount at equal intervals. For example, payment of loan and installments, monthly home mortgage payments, insurance payments or pension payments. It may be payable yearly, half yearly, quarterly or monthly. Different parties to annuity. Annuity issuer is the company that issues the annuity. For example, an insurance company owner, the individual who buys the annuity and makes the contributions to it. Annuitant is the individual whose life will be used as the measuring life for determining the timing and the amount of the distribution benefits. Generally, the owner and annuitant are the same person. Beneficiary is the person who receives a death benefit from the annuity at the death of the annuitant. So here is an example to make it more clear. Mr. X has purchased an insurance policy from LIC. He had made a lump sum payment to get certain benefits in the future. After Mr. X completes his lifespan, then his wife will receive payments from the annuity purchased. So in this case, annuitant or the owner is Mr. X. Annuity issuer is LIC, which is a life insurance company. And beneficiary is Mr. X's wife. Let's see how does an annuity work. It works by transferring the risk from the owner, that is the annuitant, to the insurance company. Once you make an investment in annuity, then it makes payments to you on future date. The premium paying period or the period in which you make installments is known as the accumulation phase and the period in which you start getting the returns is known as the payout phase. The returns may be paid monthly, quarterly, annually or even in a lump sum payment. How much you receive depends on the type of annuity you have opted. Let's see one more example. You pay a lump sum amount to the insurance company, say rupees 10 lakhs. So in return, the insurance company will pay you rupees 70,000 every year for the rest of your life. You can choose to take the amount on a monthly, quarterly, half yearly basis, annual basis depending upon the type of annuity. Now let's see different types of annuity. Immediate, deferred, fixed, variable or lump sum annuity. Immediate annuity. It is a contract under which a company agrees to give you a fixed amount of money every month. It is generally intended to create lifelong income streams or which means creating regular incomes. It is similar in structure to a pension plan that is you give a company a lump sum of cash in exchange for a guaranteed income. It is most appropriate for people who are at verge of retirement and are looking forward to receive income regularly. Example. If a truck is purchased on 1st April 2020 on higher purchase system that is on credit basis and its payment is to be made in 10 equal installment, then the first payment will be paid after the year from which you have purchased the truck that is in 2021 31st March. The second installment will be paid in the year 2022, third will be paid in the year 2023, so on up till 10th installment is paid which is in 2030. Next type is deferred annuity. It is an insurance contract that guarantees income at some future date. You have to invest a sum of money, it is a long term investment and then you receive payments after the initial sum has accrued interest. It has two distinct components, investment phase and income phase. Investment phase is the period in which you purchase the annuity till you make your last contribution and income phase begins when you start receiving the returns from the annuity. Example, 
if an annuity is deferred up to t years then it will start at the end of t years and the first payment will be made at the end of t plus 1 years so thus if the annuity is deferred up to 5 years then it will continue for 6 years the 5 years is a deferred period which is the investment phase in which you make your installments and and in the 6th year that is the 5 plus 1 the 6th year you start receiving your income which is known as the income phase fixed annuity it is an annuity contract that provides a guaranteed return on contribution you have made which may be in lump sum or which may be paid periodically in installments the period you make contributions to the annuity is the accumulation phase and the period in which you start getting the returns is the distribution phase fixed annuity contracts are sold by insurance companies banks or other financial services companies variable annuity in a variable annuity the insurer invests in a portfolio of mutual funds chosen by the buyer and the performance of those funds will determine how the account grows and how large benefit you'll get from the annuity. It doesn't offer a guaranteed payout as it depends on the financial markets. And the people who choose variable annuity are the willing to take on some degree of risk to generate greater profits. So it's better for experienced investors who are familiar with different types of mutual funds and the risk which they involve. Last type of annuity is lump sum annuity. Most types of annuities in India offer regular payouts after a stipulated period. However, the annuity also offers the alternative to provide the payout in lump sum. The lump sum is an alternative and accessible only at a specific period. There is also a possibility that complete retirement benefit might not be available as lump sum. Thank you.